here, you can see it looks just like the ocean, the ancient, ancient ocean. Once upon a time, before any oysters were around, before people, before dogs and cats, before that macaroni and cheese, this region was completely underwater. There were magical creatures and beings like you would see today. Do you see Chessie the sea monster? Yeah.
Chesapeake Bay. Everyone knew the rules to take care of the bay, and legends say they were written in some kind of instruction manual. This is one of my favorite pictures in the storybook. Look at all the oyster castles and all of the mermaids living there. There's some baby mermaids living in there. And all of the tiny little magical bivalvians. This is still when they were all very young and there were lots and lots of them in the Chesapeake Bay. But here's another exciting thing. Guess what? This is real too. Yeah, those giant towers that we were talking about of the, the oysters in the Chesapeake Bay, they were written about hundreds of years ago. But the people today that are trying to rebuild and restore the reefs, they're using special blocks. They're made out of concrete. This is a sample of one. Now, if this were real, it would be 300 pounds. And it would be almost as tall as this table. In fact, I think they have one outside here. But this is called a reef ball. Okay, and all of the oysters would grow and settle on this. But that's just one of the kinds of shapes. I've helped to build quite a few different oyster reefs, lots of different kinds. So in addition to the reef balls, they have ones that are called oyster castles. They're actually made of bricks that are kind of like Legos. And they can build them in different shapes, so that way they can study the wave action and make sure that our oyster reefs are really strong will survive this time and time, okay? They also make funny ones called layer cakes. They've made these new ones that are shaped like chairs and tables. They're really cute, but they're always coming up with new designs, right? So that way they're trying to match the kind of natural habitat and the natural way that the oyster likes to live there. So let's review. I told you that you guys can go out and can see the partial organ. You can find out about fossils. Here's a picture of the mermaid saying goodbye, leaving with some 